Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 5th. This week, we are going to uh, take a look at your current general energies in this first row. Uh, in your second row, we are going to then see uh, what you don't see coming or any blockages and blind spot spots splots that you could be dealing with here, Pisces. Uh, at the end, we're going to take a look at any messages from your guides. Uh, and then on top of that, I'm going to do something a little different at the end. And I'm going to pull three cards and I'm going to do it as a personal-ish reading, as I'm calling it. So you can think of a question at, at the end that you have. And so instead of doing three questions, I'm just going to do one and I'm going to read uh, your question with all three cards. So hopefully that makes sense. But Pisces, Let's see what is going on for you. A lot of progress being made this week is what I would say here, Pisces. Uh, you know, really, this is a pretty good reading, Pisces. I think the only challenge that you're going to be dealing with is maybe feeling a little isolated, feeling a little bit alone this week. And I don't really, that, you know, that doesn't have to be a big deal is what I would say, Pisces. It looks really good. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Really, you can't beat that. So in the area of your general energies, you have this love card here. And you have this transformation card. Something is changing in love for sure. For some of you, I feel you're walking away from an inconsistent energy. This came up in your uh, April reading, I'm pretty sure, Pisces. Your, your April reading was all about walking away from a person who is inconsistent or someone who is keeping you trapped. In a, um, and it's like there's no... It's like there's no meat <laughs> to, to this situation, Pisces, I feel like saying, with the Eight of Swords here. So for a lot of you, I just see that you are kind of walking away from a relationship situation. And it's like the this person, it's like I don't want to say that there's no love there with this person. I just feel that they're not offering any emotions. You know, it's kind of like a weird thing because it's, the Eight of Swords can represent shallow emotions. And that's kind of like what I'm feeling for you with if you are dealing with an inconsistent in and out type of energy here. For some of you, I don't feel like this person is necessarily in and out. I feel like they're there, but they're not. <laughs> you know, they're just like super inconsistent. So I feel for a lot of you, you're choosing to walk away or you're choosing to make a change here. This is going to be, like I feel like saying this is going to be critical to your future love you know, life, basically, Pisces, because it's almost like you're saying no more Mr. Nice Guy or girl. You know, again, I, it doesn't matter what gender you are, right, Pisces? I just feel like you're saying no more Mr. Nice Pisces or, or Mrs. Nice Pisces or whatever, right? I don't know. I messed that up, but you get it, Pisces. I feel like you're really kind of not being mean, but I feel like you're just kind of demanding your worth in love here with this energy. And it's like you're no longer going to let people walk all over you. So I definitely like this energy for love. And this might not even be love either, Pisces. For some of you, this is in work or business as well. Because the Eight of Cups can represent going from the back to the front. So for a lot of you in work or business, it's like I sense here that you're kind of taking on more of like these leadership roles or you will be in the near future. Very powerful reading, Pisces, as I get into the energy here. You have the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Cups here. You're really spoiled for choice here. I, I feel this is, in a lot of ways, what you don't see this week is that you have a lot of options. The, and I say this because the Eight of Cups is a card of walking through darkness. He is choosing to walk away from something that once served him, which we already talked about this. It's like you're walking away from a relationship for a lot of you. For other you could be walking away from a job or a business, something that was very supportive. But what you don't see is all this. It's like there are a lot of options for you here. And this is very exciting. So I feel there's like a lot of options coming in for you here, Pisces. I feel like there's a lot of contrast as well uh, coming in for you. You know, there are like good things in these cups and there are challenging things in these cups as well, like mountains, there's dragons and snakes in some of these cups. But, you know, life without contrast is boring, is what I say. So uh, who cares? Of course, there will always be challenges, Pisces. But this looks pretty good, Pisces. Definitely heading in the right direction. So let's clarify this. I do want to get more detail um, where this is going. Two of cups, I feel like you're moving towards new love. Strength, for sure. Needing to be patient. And the Four of Cups, I feel like you just need to pick something that you want. <laughs> the Four of Cups, it's like he's being spoiled for choice on the Seven of Cups. Four of Cups, he's manifesting these cups in front of him. He just needs to pick one thing on the Seven of Cups. And again, I feel that was a major focus for you in your April reading in general. The whole reading basically said, you can have whatever you want. You just need to focus on one thing and make it happen. The Strength card um, with the Eight of Cups is really nice. Uh, this is like an energy of being able to show off. Remember what I said? It, it's almost like you're going from the back to the front. I, I kept getting those words popping into my head, Pisces. 
for a lot of you, I feel this is talking about leadership and work or business. And it's like you're going from, you know, maybe more behind the scenes type of work or maybe you're just getting recognized. So, you know, I'm getting messages of like recognition and standing out here, Pisces. For others, I feel that you're doing something that is going to be seen as very strong. I mean, really, uh, Pisces, you're a trendsetter, right? You know, I feel you could be doing a lot of things that other people don't understand, uh, but you do. <laughs> That's all that matters, right? I mean, part of the Pisces karma is to have a pair of you-know-whats, right? Because it's like part of our karma is like we come here, we see the future, Pisces, and it's like we can see things before they come in. And it, it's like the universe basically saying, do you have the balls to you know, be a trendsetter? Do you have the guts to do something that has never been done before in life? You know, Do you have the guts to start that new business or start a new trend or something along those lines? It's definitely popping into my head. But you will be seen, you will stand out with the strength card. It is a card of, uh, standing out here. I do feel there could be a fire sign coming in for you and you keep getting Leo showing up in your reading. So it could be Leo. Uh, next, in the area of what you don't see coming, you have this regeneration card. I feel that something is like almost filling you with energy. I see you as a battery in my head right now, but you're it, like I see. <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, Pisces, but I see someone like slipping into something, like your feet. It's almost like you're tapping into an energy here, and it's like filling you up with energy. Uh, so, what the hell does that mean, Pisces? What, what I feel like that means is that you are making a change right now, and. Whatever this change is, I feel it's going to give you a great deal of energy. It's going to be something that kind of revitalizes you. So this change, I feel, is at work. For some of you, you could be changing your work location. You could be changing uh, where you work. You could be changing jobs or you could be changing your business. For some of you, I feel like um, if you're feeling tired in work or business, that changing where you work would be a good idea. And you know, I'm, that's not always going to be possible, of course. I totally understand that. But you know, maybe you need to, if you can change your desk location at work, I feel that would be helpful with this card. But for most of you, I feel like this is something that is already happening. It's not something you know that's being asked of you, I feel. For others, this, this could be in any other area of your life. Again, for some of you, I feel between now and kind of like the end of the year, you're going to be having a new love situation. So Pisces, I mean, it is a really good year for love for Pisces in a lot of ways. And I feel for you that if you're getting into a new relationship, again, it's like I see that almost like a uh, toroidal shape is the best way I can say it. If you've ever seen one of those things where it goes like this and it's like the, uh, the donut, right, Pisces, of energy, I feel that you're getting into or you will be experiencing a relationship where it's kind of like self Energi energizing, it's self-feeding. And this is something you've never experienced before, and it's something that's gonna be very fulfilling, Pisces, so love it. You have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Cups here. You see clearly now, I feel you see that you were uh, keeping yourself stuck in a relationship situation that you didn't need to stay stuck in uh, with this energy. So there's a great deal of clarity. And again, I feel like this is unexpected because, you know, it's like maybe, you know, as a Pisces, I love living in the fantasy land, right, Pisces? So sometimes I think we don't want to see the truth in a matter. It's like we rather just kind of live in the fantasy and it's like you're seeing the truth of a matter. This Queen of Cups, I feel, is you focusing on something here. You have the Four of Cups, Seven of Cups to the Queen of Cups. It's almost like you're choosing one thing to focus on at this time. This is gonna make you very successful, Pisces. You also have the Ten of Cups, which is like fortune after difficulty. So there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. This could be new love. I, you need to move towards your desires, Pisces. I don't wanna tell you what to do and I'm not, but you know, look at how this reading is set up. You have the Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands. In love, outside of love, this is a very strong desire. You have a very strong love of something. It could be a person, it could be a new person, it could be a job, a business, something you're trying to create. And she is holding something as the object of her attention. She is focusing on one cup, right? And then it goes to the Ten of Pentacles. Literally, everything you want. Something you truly desire is going to lead to everything you want here with the Ten of Pentacles. And if we go this way, if you stay stuck in the what ifs, if you stay stuck in the confusion and not moving forward, it's just gonna lead to the Eight of Swords. It's kind of like a weird reading in a lot of ways. It's almost like saying you might be in this energy of doubting something or doubting that something is possible with this Queen of Cups. It's like, you know that there's something you want. You're looking right at it with the Queen of Cups here. You know, she is very, very focused on this cup here, Pisces, and she can have it, but uh, what, what is the problem? <laughs> Pisces. I don't know. I, I ask myself that question about me every single day, right? What's your problem, Chris? Um, but let's see here. You have the uh, Ace of Cups popping out here and the Eight of Pentacles. So uh, right off the bat, that could represent the amount of work that would need to be put in to have something that you truly desire, Pisces. 
but you can have whatever you want. Three of Cups, teamwork, needing to open up to teamwork. So I would, again, this is saying you can have whatever you want, whatever this is, whatever is the object of your uh, you know, attention or desire, and uh, opening up to allowing people to help you will be important. Just taking the leap of faith, just taking the risk will also be important. And the Tower, you know, the Tower is maybe the breakdown of something. Well, obviously it's a breakdown of something, but the tower is kind of the energy of thinking, like I already have something over here. It's like, why would I switch to something new? It's almost like the energy of, like maybe you have a business, maybe it's doing okay, right? And you're saying to yourself, you know, it's almost like you have a new idea or there's something new that you truly desire here, Pisces, in work or business, for example. This could be you saying, I already have one. It's like, why would I create a tower moment? Why would I let go of the thing I have to have something new? But I do feel that it, it, it's like you're doing something right now that's not working, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't because <laughs> I'm trying to clarify the message in my head right now, Pisces. But it's almost like that tower needs to fall. Uh, for some of you, it could be relationship. It's like, again, you could be in a relationship and it's like you're saying, I'd rather stay in this crappy relationship than move on to something new because at least I have this. You know, It's like you're too uncertain about the future, I feel. So I would say, don't be afraid to release something here. And the Fool really says you're ready. It says you're prepared. You are ready to go. Uh, the other way we could read this with the Fool and the Tower is sometimes the Tower comes up and it's like the universe saying, um, <laughs> that the universe is going to give you a little bit of a nudge off this cliff here with the fool card. So, uh, you know, in a lot of ways, you're kind of being guided, I feel, at this time. Uh, here at the end, for any messages from your guides, you have the grasshopper spirit says, take a leap of faith. So obviously you have the fool right there. I feel like your guides want you to take some sort of leap of faith towards something you truly desire. And again, it's a pretty simple message. It could be a person that you truly desire. For some of you, it's a new person. So you might not know this person yet, but you will desire this person in the future. For others, it's something that you wanna create in your life. I feel almost like this creative energy. So this could be a business, a job, it could be a book, something that you're creating, uh, like an, a piece of art anything like that, but you have the Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So your guides really want you to focus on keeping things positive with the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. It is a card, you know, being left out in the cold as well. But I feel like your guides want you to focus on this, Ten of Pentacles. This is what you're gonna have, is everything you want in your life, but you do need to kind of like make it your focus, I feel here, Pisces. Uh, I wanna uh, dig into this a little bit more right away. So let's see here. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles, a lot of success coming in for you here. Nine of Pentacles is like having more than enough to give. Empress, pre-Empress energy, Empress. Uh, you keep getting the Empress. I keep saying glow up, Pisces. You're having your glow up at this time. And you have the Five of Swords. Yeah, it's almost like saying that for you to have your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, which is like everything you want in your life, there needs to be uh, a separa separation. For some of you, this is from a person. For others, this is just, you know, I don't think it's anything like that. I feel that it's more you needing to change jobs, change businesses, you know, change something in your life. And then you will have, basically have it all with this energy. It's like a little bit of uncertainty I'm getting on this Five of Swords. Like, do I take the leap of faith? Do I, you know, make a change? You're gonna be making a lot of progress at this time, Pisces. So I feel like there's a lot of progress coming in for you here but definitely some hesitation uh, going on here. I do feel weird about this tower uh, energy is, is what I'll say. It's almost like, again, the best, um, you know, what I keep picturing in my head, Pisces, is like two towers. And it's almost like there's a tower over here and there's like a tower over here. I feel like one tower is like stronger and is not gonna collapse. The other one is. So I feel like you have to pick a tower in this situation. So uh, let me just, let's, you know, let's get more detail on what this is, Pisces. Let's see uh, what is going on here. You have the devil could feel stuck to a toxic situation here. Nine of Wands, that, that in and out energy that we talked about in the beginning. And the chariot, yeah, some sort of victory coming in for you here. Chariot is as above, so below. It basically says you can have whatever you want. You can live whatever life you want to live. But I feel you're waking up to a toxic connection with that devil energy, which we already talked about in the beginning. For some of you, I feel you are creating this tower moment. Maybe you're, maybe that, uh, that's kind of like what I'm getting, is that you're creating a tower moment, but you're saying to yourself, it's for the best. 
I, I feel like you're right, Pisces, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles. Like if you're thinking, you know what, I'm gonna leave this person or I'm gonna leave this job, I'm gonna leave this business. I feel that tower with the chariot is saying, you are doing the right thing. You, it's almost like you're following your inner guidance to uh, just have a tower moment. You will regenerate. You will have the regeneration here, Pisces. So uh, weird, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, all right, Pisces, we are going to pull, I'm going to do a personal-ish reading now. So we are going to pull these three cards. Feel free to think of a question um, that will be based off of these three cards here, Pisces. Feel free to pause the video. Again, you're the first sign that I'm trying this version with, so uh, let me know what you think. But you have the uh, King of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the High Priestess. Trust your intuition. This is the whole entire reading. You're moving towards something very solid. You are moving towards something that is going to last for a very long period of time. If you're asking about a person, it could be an earth sign here, it could be a cancer as well. I feel like this person is in it for the long haul. I feel if you're asking about a person, then you need to make your move here with the chariot. Because like I feel this like this is someone who's very serious here with the King of Pentacles energy. For others, this to me is saying the sky's limit. This is basically asking you to take action. For a lot of you, Ten of Pentacles. You keep getting the Ten of Pentacles, Pisces, and I keep saying you're building or leaving a legacy at this time in your life. High Priestess is you showing up here. Chariot is a victory and success and rapid success at that. And it's also part of as above, so below. With the high priestess, something enters into our awareness. We become aware of something. It, probably this right here that you're thinking about right now, Pisces, something you truly desire to do, like a job or business or a career or whatever. And the chariot says we need to charge towards it. It will be something permanent in our lives here, Pisces. So uh, really nice reading, weird reading. I have to admit, with that tower, I was like a little bit thrown off with that tower, but I kind of feel like it's you uh, choosing to create a tower moment in your life. And, you know, again, the tower's not a bad card, as I always say. The tower has to happen. And, you know, it's part of the major arcana <laughs> for a reason. So, you know, it's like you could be choosing to have a tower moment, but it's going to be leading to the Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. So, uh, interesting. But uh, thank you for being here, Pisces. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week. Uh, also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Pisces, and uh, definitely enjoy your week.